Hey guys, so um, I'm filming in a different place today. So if you hear the echoing, just try to ignore that. It's been a while since I've filmed. So um, I played around with a few Halloween makeup looks, but I didn't like how any of them turned out. Um, I'm not really the gory type of Halloween person. So when I saw Nikki Tutorials put this picture up on Instagram, I went to watch her video and I think I learned something from it and I'm going to try to recreate that, um, obviously with my own like spin on it. So let's get right on into it. First I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm just using a pore filling primer right now. Sorry if this is very bright. I don't, I adjusted my camera settings and I don't really know what I did. So, okay, so I'm just going to go in with, well, this is making me nervous. Let's see. Okay. She kind of, it like peaked. It peaked like right here. Okay, maybe, maybe it went up a little higher. Oh goodness. I'm going to go ahead and erase where I messed up that way it doesn't stay too long. I think my biggest problem is I don't have faith that the look is going to turn out good. Oh Lord. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Matte foundation and I'm running out of it that's why it looks like it needs help okay and I'm just using my real techniques beauty sponge maybe if I turn this light down you can see what I'm doing there is that better that's a little better okay It's going to want to stay in the lines. And like Nikki Tutorial said, if you go out of it, that's fine. My face is breaking out really bad over here. Um, I've been, for about the past probably two and a half weeks, I've been using the, the Halo Beauty Kiwi supplement that Tati has come out with. It's for your skin. It's like a skin supplement. And I really, really do like it. I just feel like, okay, this lighting, I just cannot. I'll be right back. Let me fix this. Okay, I adjusted the brightness, so I hope that helps. But I've been trying my, the Kiwi supplement by Halo Beauty. And I think your skin goes through like a purging phase. And I think that's what I'm doing here. I mean, ultimately, it does look more glowy and um, more hydrated. But once I get past this phase, I think I'll feel a little bit better. I'm definitely going to keep using it. I want to go in completely full coverage with this because I am very pale. And you can see all my veins. So... After that, she went in with a concealer, and I'm going to use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer right under my eyes here, just to cancel out any redness, because this is supposed to mimic a mask. This concealer is so sticky. I love how it applies once it's on, but it is just a headache getting it on. It just pulls my skin. I'm also going to put the leftover concealer onto my eyelid 
just to act as a primer and to cancel out all those veins. Right before I set that with the powder, I'm going to make sure there is not any creasing. Yep. Now I just set, oh no, that brush is shedding. Oh lord. Also, a nice little tip here. If you have like a brush that sheds, just use the spoolie, like if you have an extra spoolie, just use that to kind of scrape those hairs away. They'll come right off. Okay, and Nikki Tutorial said do not set your eyelid because it will take away from the eyeshadow pigment. So she went in with like a, like a bright turquoise color. I don't have that palette that she used, but I do have this BH Cosmetics Festival palette. And the shade she used was similar to this one here. It was a matte shade, I do believe. So I'm just going to get that Morphe M433 brush. Oh no, it keeps creasing. And before you go in with any eyeshadow, make sure you, there are no creases. Okay. I'm just going to pat that like she did. It's like she pats and wiggles. I want to get y'all's name in a little bit. She said, do not bring it all the way in. And I think personally, I want it more rounded. This brightness deal is messing me up. And then on, after that, she went in right above that with like a, like a muted green shade. And I don't, I don't have that anywhere, I don't think. I might just use a tiny bit of this shade. It's from the Dark Magic palette. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of that nude shade right above it. Just to kind of mute it out. I'm just going to go right above that with that. After that, she did go in with a brighter orange shade in the center. I mean, in the inner corner. So I'm going to do that as well. Ooh, that's not really bright. I think I'll go in with this mustard shade in the Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. And kind of layer that on top just to see if it'll brighten it up just a little bit. Okay, I think that did pretty good. I can't tell if y'all can see this good or not. I'm so sorry. And then that same BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going to go in with the pink shade there called Dippy. And I'm just going to put that right in the center. Now I'm just going to stamp some blue. Right out here on the outer corner. Now I'm going to cut the crease. Okay, now I'm going to move on to wing liner. And to be completely honest, wing liner freaks me out because I have hooded eyelids. So sometimes um, a perfect wing will look good on me if I'm looking down like this. But then when I look up, it'll fold because of the, see this, the bit of eyelid that puffs out. So I'm going to try it. Now I'm going to go right on in with the contouring and bronzing. And I'm going to start from the outer part, like outside of the mask, like I normally would do my face, just so that it's appropriate with the mask. For highlight, I'm going to get my highlight brush, and I'm going to wet it just a little bit. And since I'm so fair right now, and this mask is supposed to be like a masky, um, dramatic look. 
I'm going to use VIP from Jaclyn Hill's Armed and Gorgeous palette. It's a very stark white shade. Oh wow, that's not helpful at all. I'm just gonna. Can y'all see that? Whew. I'm also gonna bring this down the center of the nose. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows before I forget. And she said she went a little more dramatic in her eyebrow. With this look so I'm going to to brush those hairs up I'm going to underline the bottom then I'm going to brush those hairs down I'm going to do the same to the top then I overline my lips because that's what she did so let's see now I'm going to go in with a lip butter by NYX. This is in the shade London. One of my all-time favorites. Okay, so now we're going to get a makeup flop. Sorry, I'm a crooked. And I'm just going to kind of wipe this clean. This is difficult. I'm just going to let my face dry from that makeup flap just a little bit so that whenever I shade around the mask, it doesn't... The shadow doesn't clump up. Nikki Tutorial said she just went in with her contour shade to kind of shade around this, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have it all outlined. Oh, it's stressing me out. Okay, um, after this, she said she went around with her face powder and kind of blended out this mess. So I'm going to do that too with the brush that I set my face with. And just see if it softens the edges. I think it's softening it a bit. Now I'm just going to go back in with my beauty sponge around the other side of my nose. That way it just doesn't look too harsh. I'm going to go around with this itty bitty tiny brush and just a darker brown shade. I'm going to go right over top of that black because I feel like that black is just a little too harsh. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. She does her hands like I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay, so this is the finished look. Thank you all so much, all so much for watching. If you would please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll leave my Instagram down below so you can go look at pictures of this. So I hope you learned something and I hope this taught you something. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye y'all.